Welcome everyone to another episode in the Perspective Drawing series. In this video we are going to be learning about Three Points Perspective. In the last two episodes we had covered One and Two Points Perspective, taking a look at some examples. In this one we are going to do the same for Three Points Perspective, meaning the drawings that I will be creating here will be done using three vanishing points. So like usual, let's start this off by drawing an arrangement of boxes at different sizes. I begin by establishing the horizon line. Instead of placing this across the centre, I will place this higher up on the drawing space. I then place a vanishing point at either side. The same way as I did when looking at two points perspective. But here we need to add another vanishing point, and you might be wondering where this one goes. Well, it's going to be hard to show you because it's best to be positioned quite far away from the drawing space, away from the horizon line. To give you a better idea, here is a quick setup. Notice the position of the third vanishing point. This can be placed either below or above the horizon line, between the other two vanishing points. Now, this forms a triangle, and you want to try and get your drawing to be within that area, as going too far outside could cause your drawing to be distorted. For this example, that third vanishing point is going to be far away from the drawing space, meaning I will be estimating the direction of my lines. As always, parallel lines converge to the vanishing points, and in this example, all of these lines will be converging. As I draw in these boxes, notice how the vertical lines are angling towards that third vanishing point. Here the third vanishing point is below, the horizon line is higher, and so we will be drawing these boxes as if we are looking at them from above, and this view from above is emphasised by the use of that third vanishing point. I had began the episodes on one point and two points perspective the same way. Drawing an arrangement of boxes like this enables us to gain a simple understanding of how a drawing appears. For example, let's compare this with the drawings in one point and two points perspective and notice the difference between all of these. In the basic one point perspective, lines are either vertical, horizontal or converging towards the vanishing point. In two points perspective, lines are either vertical or converging towards the vanishing points, and in three points perspective, all of these lines are converging towards those vanishing points. Let's create a drawing in three points perspective. Again, I will start with the horizon line, and then place the two vanishing points. In this example, I will imagine the third vanishing point to be far away from the drawing space below the horizon line. I've also placed the left vanishing point away from this drawing space and I just direct some construction lines towards that. The right vanishing point is visible in this example. The vertical lines won't seem to angle as much the further away the third vanishing point is. In terms of vanishing points, the further apart they are, the closer your drawing appears as if captured through a telephoto lens. In other words, there will be less distortion. Drawing in three points perspective can make your drawing appear to be more dynamic. Here I begin to block out the drawing using some boxes, similar to what we had just done at the start of this episode. Now I am going to draw a row of buildings. Notice how the angle of these vertical lines begin to fan out a lot more as I draw further away from the centre. In terms of construction, I draw through these volumes, making sure that I can see all of the sides and edges. This is a good habit to get into, and it will make it a lot easier when constructing more complex forms. Finally, once I have drawn this out, I start to render the drawing. I have to consider the perspective with everything that I draw here, because everything is converging to a vanishing point. As I add these details, I have to make sure they are working with the perspective that is applied. So that is a simple example of three points perspective. In this next example, let's place the horizon line lower down and have the third vanishing point be above. Here I'm also going to place the left and the right vanishing points away from the drawing space, meaning I'll be estimating the direction of all my lines in this example. As I discussed in the previous episode, you'll often find that you have to make a guess when directing your lines. Because the horizon line is low down and the third vanishing point is higher up, here it will appear as if I am looking up at the subject that I am drawing. 
This time the vertical lines seem to be angling inwards towards that third vanishing point above. This can be an effective angle to use when drawing various subjects such as vehicles and street scenes. Throughout these earlier episodes though, I am drawing more simple subjects as an example, but as we progress with this series, I will begin to cover more complex techniques and begin to draw more appropriate examples. Here I follow the usual process of blocking in these objects in three points perspective before then beginning to render them in pencil. I have a more in-depth breakdown of this drawing process available on Patreon. I create these study documents which are on paper versions of the tutorials, except they give me a chance to explain the techniques and process more clearly and you are able to use them for personal study. So now that we have covered one point, two points and three points perspective, you might be wondering if you are able to add additional vanishing points. Well, the answer is yes, but let's just hold off for a while. We still need to cover a lot of useful techniques and methods before we start approaching any of that stuff. Regardless, I hope you found this video helpful. <laughs>